Welcome back to another top line video and today, we will be listing the top 10 of the most expensive museums ever built. From architectural marvels to priceless collections, these museums stand as testaments to human creativity and passion. Number 10. The Zietz Museum of Contemporary Art Africa. The museum is located in Cape Town, South Africa and was opened to the public in September 2017. It is dedicated to contemporary African art and artists from the continent and its diaspora. The museum is housed in a renovated historic grain silo that was built in the early 20th century. The building was repurposed and redesigned by renowned British architect Thomas Heatherwick, who transformed the silos into a modern and innovative museum space. The museum features 80 gallery spaces spread over nine floors, showcasing a wide range of contemporary art from various mediums, including paintings, sculptures, installations, photography, and video art. The estimated construction cost of the Zietz MOCAA was approximately $38 million. It was a collaborative effort between the V&A Waterfront, a South African property development company, and the Zietz Foundation, a non-profit organization focused on sustainable development. The project was also partially funded by the government of South Africa. The museum has received international recognition for its unique architecture and its contribution to promoting contemporary African art and culture. It has become a major cultural destination and a symbol of urban renewal in Cape Town. Number 9. The Museum of Tomorrow. Museum of Tomorrow is a science museum located in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It is situated in the Pier Mauá area, overlooking the Guanabara Bay. The museum explores the topics of science, sustainability, and the future of humanity. The Museum of Tomorrow was designed by Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava and officially opened to the public on December 17, 2015. The construction of the museum cost approximately $67 million. The museum's unique architectural design resembles a futuristic spaceship, with a striking white structure and a cantilevered roof that provides shade for visitors. It incorporates sustainable features, such as solar panels and a system that uses water from the bay for cooling. Inside the museum, Visitors can engage with interactive exhibits, immersive installations, and multimedia presentations that explore themes like climate change, biodiversity, technological advancements, and the possibilities for a sustainable future. The Museum of Tomorrow has become a prominent cultural and architectural landmark in Rio de Janeiro, attracting both locals and tourists interested in science, technology, and the environment. Number 8. The Museum of the History of Polish Jews. Museum of the History of Polish Jews is located in Warsaw, Poland and is dedicated to the history of Polish Jews. The museum was opened in 2013 and covers over 1,000 years of Jewish life in Poland, including the pre-war period, the Holocaust, and the post-war period. The museum's core exhibition covers eight galleries, each focusing on a different era of Jewish history in Poland, and features over 4,000 exhibits, including multimedia installations, reconstructions, and interactive displays. The construction cost of the museum was approximately $125 million, with funding coming from a number of sources, including the Polish government, the city of Warsaw, and private donors. The building was designed by a Finnish architect, Rainer Malamaki, and a Polish architect, Ilmari Ladelma, and features a modern design that aims to evoke the image of an open book. Number 7. The Broad. The Broad is a contemporary art museum located in Los Angeles, California, USA. It was founded by philanthropists Eli and Edith Broad and opened to the public in September 2015. The museum's name comes from the Broad family's surname. The museum's design features a striking white, honeycomb-like structure that allows natural light to illuminate the gallery spaces. As for the construction cost of the Broad, it was estimated to be around $140 million. This amount covered the expenses for the construction of the building, the installation of gallery spaces, and other necessary infrastructure. The funding for the Broad was primarily provided by the Broad family, who dedicated a substantial amount of their personal wealth to create the museum. The Broad is known for its extensive collection of contemporary art, which includes works by prominent artists like Jeff Koons. The museum also features a program of temporary exhibitions and hosts various educational initiatives and public programs to engage visitors with contemporary art. Number 6. The New Acropolis Museum. New Acropolis Museum is an archaeological museum located in Athens, Greece. It was built to house and exhibit artifacts from the Acropolis of Athens, including the Parthenon sculptures. The museum was designed by Swiss architect Bernard Chumi in collaboration with Greek architect Makalis Photiatis. 
The construction of the new Acropolis Museum began in 2003 and was completed in 2009. The estimated cost of construction for the museum was around $200 million. The project aimed to create a modern and purpose-built facility that would provide a suitable environment for the display and preservation of the Acropolis' valuable collection. The museum's design incorporates glass walls, columns, and an elevated gallery that offers visitors panoramic views of the Acropolis Hill. Its collection includes a wide range of artifacts, including statues, sculptures, pottery, and architectural elements, dating from the Archaic to the Roman period. The new Acropolis Museum has been lauded for its architectural design and the innovative use of natural light, as well as its efforts to provide educational and engaging experiences for visitors. It has become a significant cultural attraction in Athens, attracting millions of visitors each year who come to explore Greece's ancient history and the legacy of the Acropolis. Number 5. The National Museum of China. National Museum of China is located in Beijing, China. It is one of the largest museums in the world, covering an area of about 200,000 square meters. The museum houses a vast collection of artifacts and artworks that showcase China's rich cultural heritage and history. The construction of the National Museum of China involved an extensive renovation and expansion project. While I couldn't find an exact figure for the construction cost, it has been reported to be around $355 million. The project aimed to modernize and enlarge the museum, combining two separate buildings the Museum of the Chinese Revolution and the National Museum of Chinese History. The renovated museum reopened to the public in 2011. The National Museum of China's exhibits cover a wide range of topics, including ancient Chinese history, traditional arts and crafts, calligraphy, painting, sculpture, and more. It houses over a million artifacts, with notable highlights such as bronze artifacts from the Shang and Zhou dynasties ancient ceramics, imperial treasures, and cultural relics from different periods of Chinese history. The museum's architecture is also noteworthy. The exterior features a grand colonnade and a striking entrance plaza, while the interior combines modern exhibition spaces with traditional Chinese design elements. The National Museum of China serves as an important cultural institution, preserving and showcasing China's historical and artistic heritage to visitors from around the world. Number 4. The Whitney Museum of American Art The Whitney Museum of American Art is a contemporary and modern art museum located in New York City, USA. It was founded in 1930 by Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney and was initially focused on showcasing the works of American artists who were not yet well established. Over the years, the museum has become one of the leading institutions for American art, featuring a wide range of mediums such as painting, sculpture, film, and video. The museum has had several locations over the years, but its current home is in the Meatpacking District of Manhattan. The building was designed by architect Renzo Piano and opened in 2015. The museum's new building has 220,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor exhibition space, classrooms, a theater, a conservation lab, and a restaurant. The construction cost of the Whitney Museum's new building was approximately $422 million. The project was funded by a combination of public and private sources, including the City of New York, philanthropists, and corporate sponsors. The high cost of construction was due to the building's unique design and features, including a cantilevered entrance, an outdoor sculpture garden, and a large, column-free gallery space with stunning views of the city. Since its opening, the new Whitney Museum building has received critical acclaim for its innovative design and its ability to seamlessly integrate indoor and outdoor exhibition spaces. It has become a popular destination for both locals and tourists interested in American art and modern architecture. Number 3. The National Museum of Qatar. The National Museum of Qatar is a prominent cultural institution located in Doha, the capital city of Qatar. It was designed by the renowned architect Jeune Nouvelle and opened to the public in March 2019. The museum is dedicated to showcasing Qatar's rich history, heritage, and culture. The National Museum of Qatar is known for its striking architecture, inspired by the shape of a desert rose, a naturally occurring crystal formation found in arid regions. The building features interlocking disks and curvilinear walls that create a unique and visually stunning design. As for the construction cost of the museum, it is reported to have been approximately $434 million. This investment was made to ensure the realization of the ambitious architectural vision and to create a world-class facility that would contribute significantly to Qatar's cultural landscape. The museum's exhibits cover a wide range of topics, 
including Qatar's geological history, prehistoric societies, traditional and contemporary Qatari culture, and the country's development and transformation. It incorporates interactive displays, multimedia presentations, and a diverse collection of artifacts, artworks, and archival materials. The National Museum of Qatar stands as an iconic symbol of Qatar's commitment to preserving its heritage and promoting cultural understanding. It has gained international recognition for its architectural excellence and the immersive and informative experience it offers to visitors. Number 2. Louvre Abu Dhabi The Louvre Abu Dhabi is a renowned art and civilization museum located in Abu Dhabi, the capital city of the United Arab Emirates. It was developed through a collaboration between the governments of Abu Dhabi and France. The museum aims to promote cross-cultural dialogue and understanding through its diverse collection of art and artifacts. The Louvre Abu Dhabi was designed by the acclaimed architect making an appearance for the second time in this video, Jean Nouvel, and officially opened its doors to the public on November 11, 2017. The museum is situated on Sadiat Island, a cultural district in Abu Dhabi, and covers an area of approximately 690,000 square feet. As for the construction cost, the estimated price for building the Louvre Abu Dhabi was around $650 million. The museum's collection spans thousands of years and encompasses a wide range of artistic and cultural artifacts. It includes artworks from various regions and civilizations, including ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, Greece, Rome, and Asia, as well as significant pieces from the Renaissance period and the modern era. The Louvre Abu Dhabi's unique architectural design features a vast domed structure that allows natural light to filter through and create an effect known as the Reign of Light. The museum also features exhibition spaces, a children's museum, a cafe, a restaurant, and a gift shop, providing visitors with a comprehensive cultural experience. It's worth mentioning that the Louvre Abu Dhabi operates as a universal museum, meaning it displays art and artifacts from different civilizations and cultures around the world rather than focusing solely on a specific geographic region or time period. Number 1. Getty Center. The Getty Center is a renowned art museum and research institution located in Los Angeles, California, USA. It was designed by architect Richard Meyer and opened to the public in 1997. The museum is part of the J. Paul Getty Trust, which also includes the Getty Villa in Pacific Palisades. The Getty Center is known for its striking modernist architecture and its vast art collection spanning various periods and mediums. The collection includes European paintings, sculptures, decorative arts, drawings, manuscripts, and photographs. Notable works in the collection include Vincent van Gogh's, Iris's, and many others. The museum complex itself is situated on a hilltop in the Santa Monica Mountains, offering panoramic views of Los Angeles. The design incorporates extensive use of travertine stone and includes various buildings interconnected by walkways, gardens, and outdoor sculptures. As for the construction price of the Getty Center, it was reported to have cost approximately $1 billion. The significant expense was due to various factors, including the complexity of the architectural design, the scale of the project, and the extensive landscaping and infrastructure required for the hilltop site. The Getty Center continues to be a popular destination for art enthusiasts, researchers, and visitors from around the world. Providing a unique cultural experience alongside its breathtaking setting and architectural marvel. That's all we have for this video. If you made it to the end and enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments if any of these museums surprised you and what you'd like to see next.